Today we're in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5. And the Song of Solomon can take some getting used to. Over and over again, with some evocative imagery, love and the experience of love is discussed. One approach to studying this song is to interpret the scenes as both pictures of the ideal wedded love and as a description of God's love for his people. Now, I don't know about you, but the latter makes some of the scenes and some of the wording in chapter 5 a little bit more comfortable for me. So let's look briefly at just one element of chapter 5 from both of these perspectives. First, the sheer experience of love. Verse 1 says, Eat, friends, and drink. Drink your fill of love. Solomon seems to be saying if just a little bit of love experienced in marriage is good, a whole lot of love is wonderful and beyond measure. We should drink it in, be filled up with it, and enjoy it to the fullest extent. Within the confines of marriage is the place where physical love is meant to be demonstrated and enjoyed. So in that context, enjoy it. Now, I'm not suggesting that you follow King Solomon's example. Uh, the Bible tells us that King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. That takes physical love to an unhealthy level and clearly beyond what God intended. But between one husband and one wife, physical love should be experienced to the full in a manner that's pleasing to God. Likewise, there's an experiential side to our love relationship with Jesus. In John 10, Jesus said the thief comes only in order to steal and to kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. The Amplified Bible goes on to say life to the full till it overflows. So what are the implications of this experiential side of love in our faith. Just as we experience the fullness of physical love in the marriage relationship, it's in a relationship with God in Christ that we experience the fullness of His love for us. Now that's something I can sit down and talk about over breakfast without blushing. So which love is it that you and I, using Solomon's words, are to drink in? Well, it's both. We drink in this physical aspect of love in a God-honoring relationship with our spouse. And we drink in the love of God through the one who poured out his love sacrificially for you and I. John 15, 13 says this, there's no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Let me encourage you today as I encourage myself Let's experience God's great love for us in every aspect of our lives today.